Guys, welcome to the show. And uh, yeah, as I promised, I'm going to start getting more of these out, which is awesome. Guys, a thing I've been waiting to do for a long time, and I, and I really wanted to do it for a few different reasons, uh, going through a million views, I thought it was important. Obviously, Mirka died, I thought I'd have a drink for her, was my Hibernera Infinity Bottle. <clears throat> and if you guys don't uh, remember when I started this, I'll put a link here. And you guys can go look at that. So basically, Hibernera was a gin that I drank with Red Bull, which I called Satan's Piss. Again, you can watch that video here. It was so bad, but I really, really like this uh, this bottle. So I thought I'd create an infinity bottle. Uh, infinity bottles are basically, uh, this is my own personal whiskey blend. Um, if you want to find out more about whiskeys, I actually first heard about that at ralphie.com. So if you want to know more about whiskeys, ralphie.com is a really, really good a good stop really is really interesting. So basically this is a personal whiskey brand. So every time I open a whiskey, I pour a little bit into here before I have a glass. So this will uh, continue to be a personal blend of all the whiskeys that I've drunk. I have got a list of these whiskeys. What I'll do is I'll put that list whiskey list of all the whiskeys that are in this on my uh, um, Twitter account, which you can find the link of in my in the show notes. So uh, yeah, I really wanted to do this. Been looking forward to this. A little bit of a different exercise because I don't know. I normally do beers, but I'm going to do whiskey today. Um, but I'm um, super excited about this one. There's lots of rules with uh, infinity bottles. Uh, some have different lines. All the only rule I have is once above halfway, you can drink it back to halfway. So this should have a personal record of all the whiskeys I've drunk for the next 50 years. And hopefully, if I'll keep this bottle going, I can give it to someone who can appreciate it. So every time, I think the first one I put in here was a Glenfiddich 12. Don't quote me on that. Well, it might have been a, a bourbon or something like that. But again, you'll see that list on the on the on the Twitter page. And uh, so there should be remnants of all these whiskeys, even in 20 years' time, when I have a shot out of it for a special occasion, or I might share it with somebody if someone comes to visit. And that will be a little bit of all these things. So I've been looking forward to trying this. Um, it's been, it got a little bit warm during the shift, so I just put in the thing. I might put a little bit of uh, ice with it. But it smells amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys like whiskey, but I'll put a little bit in this glass here. You know what I'm going to do? I normally drink my whiskeys with like a teaspoon of water. But um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of ice in here because it's a little bit warm. Because obviously when I shift it, I got my own little personal bar fridge here. When I shift it, everything a little bit warm. So these are little one teaspoon cubes that I made, perfect for chilling whiskey on. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Um, I actually have ordered some Glen Kern, which are proper whiskey glasses, but this wine glass is going to have to do. Mmm, smells amazing. A little bit caramelly of there, caramel flavour. <laughs> that makes me sound such a such a whiskey snob. But guys, whiskeys are really something you can enjoy. Here goes. Hey, one million subscribers! Thank you for all the love, guys. I've really appreciated it. Let me try my first sip of my my Infinity bottle from the Hibernera Infinity bottle. Wow, that's so amazing! It's actually really, really, it's incredibly good. I think the best thing about this is that um, I can't say it's one or the other because it's just a, a mix of so many different whiskies, but it, it isn't bad at all. Actually, it smells really nice, you know, caramel, a lot of caramel flavor coming through. Mmm. You know, my cat Merka died, and I really I thought I'd have a drink for Merka, but I have got another cat, which is a one-eyed cat. Again, uh, you know, we rescued this one, and it's a, actually an awesome cat. It's really cool. But, you know, we miss Merka a lot. I used to, Merka used to sit on my shoulders during the episode, so that was kind of cool. But, um, yeah, guys, start in for It's a lot of fun. You can actually put any dark spirits into it, I believe. You can put rums, whiskeys, bourbons, brandies. Actually, I got given this brandy here, Russian brandy. I don't think I'm going to add it in. I'm going to taste it first, and if it is any, go any good, I'm, I might just do it, you know. Mm. Almost like peaky bananas, like like those fruit, fruity banana taste type things. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but um, very very good. 
But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do a, a, a live uh, YouTube live on Saturday in the afternoon sometime, and I'll drink a few beers and answer some questions because it's quite good because you guys can type in questions and I can we can go back and forth, have a little bit of banter, which should be a laugh as well. Anyway, mm. oh, I'm enjoying this. I don't know when I'm going to drink it next, but it, it'll be always for a special occasion. But uh, mate. Thank you very much, guys. I'm well over 1 million views now, which is actually kind of crazy. It really blows my mind. But again, thank you very much for all the love. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, I'll see you guys on Saturday for a, for a live YouTube. Cool. Enjoy.